though, I just don't get it. How is that even possible? What I mean is, how is it possible that you don't like their lemon cake? It's amazing, it is literally perfect. How could you possibly not like it? <gasps> Too sweet. Too sweet. There is absolutely no such thing as too sweet. Especially not when it comes to lemon cake. And besides, you always tell me that you love lemon cake. So what's with the sudden change of mind? But this is your favourite bakery. Everything they have here is your favourite. If they don't have the best lemon cake, who does? Oh, really? You mean that? Oh, I'm flattered. Or I would be, if I didn't know that you were just trying to butter me up just so I'd make a lemon cake for you. <laughs> but I suppose if you don't like their cake, then you won't mind if I eat the rest of yours, will you? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. I've got to say, their chocolate is one of the best. You made a great choice here. Hey! <laughs> Give that back. I was eating that. You said you didn't like their cake, so I was doing you a favour. Well, if you don't respect the superiority of their lemon cake, then you don't deserve to eat any of their cakes. So there. Fine, but only because I'm the only one who can beat them. <laughs> but really, their chocolate cake is amazing. Not gonna lie, I kinda wish I got that instead. No, the coffee cake is great. I just didn't realise I was craving chocolate until I had a bite of yours. Oh yeah, it's my favourite. Well, most of the time, anyway. Apparently I have a particularly strong craving for chocolate today. Really? You haven't tried it? Oh my gosh, you're missing out. It's so good. Here, try a bite of mine. Uh-huh. <laughs> good, right? Mm, I told you. Their coffee cake is the best ever. It's basically heaven on earth. The crumbly stuff on the top is addictive, isn't it? I think it's cinnamon, brown sugar, and butter. You wanted to share both of them. That way we get the best of both worlds. I know, every time I say that I think of the theme song too. I'm trying not to think about it or I'll get it stuck in my head. <laughs> Okay, then let's change the subject, so we don't keep thinking about it. How's your week going? Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, mine was about the same as ever. Work was good, but actually sucked. My neighbours had a party last night, so I'm tired as hell, and my apartment's a mess. The vacuum broke last week, and... I need to wait until I get paid before I get a new one. But the worst part was definitely missing out on our movie night a few nights ago. Yeah, I had a date. And, um, well, I met them on, um, <laughs> whatever dating app it was. But you know what? It was not worth it. It was absolutely not worth it. No, it was terrible. I kept trying to start conversations with them, but they just gave me these short answers I couldn't respond to. It was the single, driest, most boring conversation I have ever had. And they refused to try and start a conversation. Then, like, halfway through the date, they went outside to take a phone call for 30 minutes. 
30 minutes. Oh yeah, like I said, it was bad. I ended up asking for the check and leaving before they came back in. I meant to text you about it. Oh, but I was so exhausted from carrying the weight of every single conversation that I just collapsed in bed. <laughs> I swear, I got the best sleep I've had in months just because I was so tired from how much of a workout that date was. <laughs> Seriously, it was awful. Just like the last 30,000 dates or so I've been on. I know, right? I'm just going on dates, trying to find someone that I actually want to be with. And it just seems that I can't find anyone who's looking for the same thing. And it's not like I mind that we're looking for different things. Sometimes it's fun just to go on a date with someone for a fun night out. But now... Oh, now I'm kind of tired of all of that. You know? <laughs> Asking the hard-hitting questions now, huh? <laughs> okay, yeah. It might have something to do with all of that. It's just that everyone keeps asking me, do you have a special friend? And so when are you going to introduce us to your special friend? Oh, I know. It sounds so stupid. Special friend. It's like I'm a kid with my first crush. I think they were trying to be subtle about it, but it might be the least subtle term I have ever heard. They might as well just ask, so do you have a friend that you kiss in a romantic way? But I guess that's not as catchy. Oh, it does, and I can't convince them to stop. But the worst part is, even though it's annoying, it's more like I'm more annoyed at them for pointing it out than anything else. Because I do want to have someone like that in my life. But it just hasn't worked out yet, you know? Everyone I've gone out with so far has either not been looking for a relationship, someone I'm not compatible with, or... <clears throat> well, uh, yeah. Basically, it's only been they're not looking for a relationship or we're not compatible. That's pretty much it. I mean... There's been a few couple other things, but those don't really matter. No, no, really, it's really nothing important. <laughs> I promise, it's something stupid, it doesn't matter anyway. Come on, it's really nothing, I swear. <sighs> You're not going to stop asking until I tell you, are you? I should have figured. You're way too stubborn to let anything like that go. Yeah, I am calling you stubborn. Are you going to try and deny it? Like I said, you're stubborn. Very stubborn, in fact. <laughs> yes, I am trying to change the subject. Thank you for asking. What do you think I should change it to? Oh, fine. There's no avoiding it, is there? I was gonna say that the other reason I couldn't find anyone that would be in a relationship with me is because... Um... It's because they thought I'd already had a special friend. If you catch my drift. <laughs> oh god, I know. It's really not subtle at all. I don't even know why I said it like that. But I guess that's the only way to put it in this circumstance. Given how they were all talking about it. Apparently when I was talking to them about my friends and hobbies and what I do in my free time. They thought I was talking a bit too much about my friends. 
To be specific, they said I was talking a lot about one of my friends. Or as one of my dates put it, the friend I clearly have a crush on. They wouldn't just stop insisting that it seemed like I was trying to ignore my feelings. It was really weird. Actually, it was the day I went on this week. They decided pretty quickly that I wasn't interested in them because I mentioned I like hanging out with you more than anyone else. I mean, just because I prefer being around you more than anyone else and had a crush on you for a while doesn't mean that I'm, you know. Yeah, but you knew that. We've both had crushes on each other before. But apparently my dates thought that we still did, or at least I still did. Well, um... <laughs> it might actually not be that far-fetched, if you want to know the truth. <sighs> Listen, there's something I've been thinking about, and it's about time that I got the nerve to tell you. So... Like I told you, I've been looking for a deeper relationship for a while now. I want to actually be with someone. A little while after I started going on these dates, one of them pointed out that I talk about you a lot for someone who isn't romantically involved. At first, I kind of laughed it off. It seemed a bit silly, after we had all these crushes on each other so long ago. But the more I started to think about it, the more I started to think about you, and me, and well, us. I started thinking about how well we get along, and how much I love spending time with you. Then I started wondering what it would actually be like if we were to push our relationship a little further. Firstly, I thought about just hugging you for a bit longer than normal. Then I thought about holding you, like pulling you close during movie night and staying like that. Then I wondered how it would feel to kiss you and to feel that connected to you. And ever since I started thinking about that, I haven't been able to stop thinking about it. You've been on my mind almost constantly, and honestly, I really like it. I like thinking about you like that. You know, in a romantic way. Feeling like this for you feels more natural than it did with any of the dates I went on. And I really don't want to feel like this for anyone else. I actually deleted all those apps because I don't even want to think about dating anyone else. After that date this week, I... I knew that I couldn't find anyone else I wanted to be with more than you. So I guess what I'm saying is, I do have feelings for you. I have a crush on you. Again. Um, are you going to say anything? Huh? Well, that's not what I expected. <laughs> You're smiling at me, like a real smile. Yeah, obviously I'm smiling. You're smiling at me like you're going to say that you want to date me, so of course I'm going to smile. Well, are you going to ask me something, or... Like what? What do you want me to ask you? <laughs> really? You're really going to make me ask you that? Alright. Fine. 
Will you, my dearest best friend, do me the honour of being my special friend? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was maybe the least romantic way to ask someone out, ever. I can't believe you made me ask you that. <laughs> oh yeah, and what are you going to give me in return? Okay, now that's a trade I could get used to, but um, <laughs> I think we're getting some looks from everyone in here. Why don't we go for a walk in the park? That way we can sneak a few more kisses on our date. Yeah, this is a date. <laughs> what? Does going to a bakery and then walking through the park not sound like a date to you? Exactly. Now, come on. Hold my hand and let's get back to our date. Yeah, I want to hold your hand. I have a crush on you. Holding your hand is the first thought I have every single morning. Now give it here. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, one more thing. Yeah, give me one more kiss and then we can go. <laughs> Perfect. Now let's go. Our date awaits. <laughs> <laughs>